Okay. So for today, we will be discussing the chapter one of the interaction design. Last time we discussed about computers. Okay, so human, computers, and interactions. So for today, we will be discussing what would be the interaction design. What would be the role of it in the human-computer interactions? So basically, when we're talking about human-computer interactions, we're talking about designs. So there are what we call bad designs. So for example, in elevator controls and labels, on the bottom row, all look at the same. So it's easy to push the label by mistake instead of a control button. So people do not make same mistake for the labels and buttons on the top of the row. Why not? Unang una, when we're talking about the design layouts in an elevator, you are very familiar with it because you already experienced okay, on how to use the elevator. So there are numbers that indicating the levels of the floors. And then we have the button here for the door to open and the door to close for an alarm in case of emergency and to stop it. So those are the types of design which can be easily interact by the human. So in the word, common sense can be used. So why is this bending machine so bad? Unang una, need to push button first to activate the reader. Second, normally insert bill first before making selection. Contrived as well, known convention. Marami pa rin ganitong klaseng bending machine na nakikita pa rin ngayon. And those bending machines are examples is yung mga bending machines ng mga soft drinks that you can be seen in the malls okay, or in a waiting area kung saan siya mabenta. So need to push button to activate the reader. So dati ganyan kaluma. Pero ngayon kasi, you insert the bill and then you press the button of you want to choose for those types of bending machine. So what are we talking about is what is a good design? So when we're talking about a good design based on Marvel answering machines, based on how everyday objects behave, easy, initiative, and pleasure to use, and only requires one-step actions to perform yung pinaka-core task. So, meaning, when we're talking about good design, it would be reliable. It would be easy to adapt. Kaya nga, doon pumapasok yung tinatawag nating graphical user interface. The interaction between the human that made them to use those types of machine would be accurately and usable. So, good and bad design. So, why is the TiVo remote so much better design than standard remote control? So, peanut shape to fit the hand. Logically layout and color-coded distinctive buttons and easy to locate buttons. Majority of our remote controls are designed. Okay, so they are designed in terms of numerics, numbers. So para ma press natin agad yung mga channels that we want to see. Pero ngayon, majority of our remote control are what? Siyempre, yung television is nag-upgrade, nag-innovate. Smart TV. So yung mga smart TV na yan, basically, yung remote control ng mga yan, there's a lot of function keys that including the different types of source, may Netflix, may YouTube, etc. etc. So what are the dilemma of this? Which is the best way to interact with a smart TV? A standard remote device, an Apple Slimeline remote control, or a Minimum new keyboard. 
maraming nauso ngayon na sinasaksak ng mga wireless keyboard into the smart TVs for typing purposes. Because if they are watching movies, yung iba kasi nababagalan sa paggamit ng remote pag nagtatype at pag nagkakamali. But if you have keyboard, basically, it would be benefit. Kaya nga ngayon, na-embed na rin yan. Eh. Tumasama na rin yung mga function keys ng mga wireless keyboard to benefit us. Especially those who are using smart TV or smart televisions. So what to design? Need to take into account. Ito ang lagi natin isipin. Who the users are? Sino ang gagamit? What activities are being carried out? Ano ang klase ng mga paggamit? Saan ginagamit? Where the interaction is taking place? At saan gagamitin? Need to optimize the interaction users hub with our product so that they match the user activities and the needs. So in short, when we are talking about this, it is very important that what to design to be offered because who the users are, what activities are being carried out, where the interaction is taking place. In understanding the user needs, it's need to take into account what people are good and bad at. We need to consider that might help people in the way they currently do things, followed by think through what might provide quality users' experiences. We need to listen to what people want and get them involved also, and use tried and tested user-centered methods that would benefit the users. So what is the most important thing is kung ano ang kakailanganin ng mga gagamit. At madali bang matututunan yan ng mga gagamit. Basically, when we're creating designs, it must be user-centered designs. Dapat nakasentro sa kanila. Lalo na kung sila yung gagamit. Kasi kung di nila yung magamit ang matino, how the wind will be you? use for it. No? Kung sila nahirapan mag-adapt, paano pa yung iba? Kaya nga meron tayong human-computer interaction is how does the human interact with the computers? So, lalagyan natin yun ng word na design. So, what is interaction design? Designing interactive products to support the way. Peoples communicate and interact in their everyday and working lives. So yan ang ibig sabihin ng interaction design. Designing interactive products to support the way that people communicate and interact in their everyday and working lives. So the design of spaces for human communication and interaction by Winograd in 1997. So what is the goal of this interaction design? Unang una, develop usable products that would benefit okay, for the humanity, for the human, for the users. Usability means easy to learn. Ayan na, madaling matutunan. Effective to use. And provide an enjoyable experience to the users. So involve users in the design process. Bakit kinakailangan na pag gumagawa tayo ng layout design, madaling matutunan ng tao. Bakit po? To maintain the accuracy and the usability of the certain system or machine. Washing machine, marunong gumamit ang mga tao ng manual. Pero nung nagkaroon ng mga automatic washing machine, the design and layout of that, we need to adapt or change. Basically, Madali namang matutunan ng on and off button. So yung mga on and off button na yan, ayan yung nagsisilbi sa atin na analog types of design da dati pa ay ginagamit na. So which kind of design?
There are a number of other terms used in emphasizing what is being designed. User interface design, software design, user-centered design, product design, web design, experience design, or we call it the UX. So yung mga yan, basically, we need to design it in a right manner. The interaction design is the umbrella term covering all these aspects. Fundamental to all disciplines that includes field and approaches concerned with researching and designing computer-based systems for people. As long the technology will improve, as long the technology will enhance, people need a design that can be easily adopted. So it can be used properly. At the same time, we make the word usability. Usable dapat. So in human computer interaction and design, it's very important that we know the design practices. The graphics design, the product design, the artist design, industrial design, and film industry. That includes the information system, CSCW or the Computer Supported Cooperative Work, Cognitive Ergonomics, Human-Computer Interactions, Cognitive Engineering, Human Factors, Social Science that includes Sociology and Anthropology, Computer Science and Software Engineering, Engineering, Informatics, Psychology, Cognitive Science, Ergonomics, and Academic disciplines. So what are the relationship between ID, HCI, and other field? Interface design that includes in psychology, social sciences, computing sciences, engineering, ergonomics, and informatics. So the design practice contributing to Graphics design, product design, artist design, industrial designing, including film industry. So interdisciplinary fields naman. So how that do interaction design in the HCI or the human computer interaction, digital computing, human factors, cognitive engineering, cognitive ergonomics, computer supported cooperative work and information system. Working in multidisciplinary teams. So many people from different backgrounds involve different perspectives and ways of seeing, talking about things. Benefits would be more ideas and design generated. The disadvantage should be difficult to communicate and progress forward the design of being created. Why working in a multidisciplinary team is very important. Kagaya nga nang sabi ko, there would be a benefits the ideas and design would be a lot to discuss. Disadvantage naman is for difficult in communications. So in interaction design of business, increasing numbers of interaction design consultancies, example of well-known other include via the Nielsen Norman Group. So it would help companies enter the age of consumer, designing human-centered products and services. We have Coffer from the research and product goal related design. We have the SWIM provides a wide range of design services. So in each case targeted to the address of the product development needs at hand. Then we have the IDEO. So it creates product, services, and environments for companies pioneering new ways to provide value to their customers. So in short, those types of designs in business would help us. So ano ba yung pinaka-importante? What do professionals do in the interaction design business? Una, meron dito interaction designers. They are the people involved. Sila yung involved sa design sa lahat ng interactive aspects ng isang certain products. 
usability engineer naman. They are the one who are evaluating the products. Depends on the methods and principle that has been used. Then, we have the web designer. The people who develop and create the visual design of websites or such layouts. Then, we have the information architects. Sino itong mga to? People who come up with ideas on how to plan the structure of interactions of a certain product. As you all know, that architects, di ba? alam niya yan, they're uh, doing the plans and the layouts of a certain house, not only the product, pati yung iba, even the design of it. Then we have the UX designers. Ito naman yung tinatawag nating above, but may also be carry out the field of studies from the design and products. So implementing the principles of computing courses for the experienced designers. Then we have the user experience. So how a product behaves and is used by people in the real world. So the way you feel about it, their pleasure and satisfaction when using it. Looking at it, holding at it, and opening or closing it. So every product that is used by someone as a user experience, newspaper, ketchup bottles, reclining armchairs, cardigan sweaters. So all of those things and all of the trademarks and logos was for the user experience. Trademarks, logos, all aspects of the end user interaction with the companies, its service and its products. Motos, those types of experience and interactions. Cannot design a user experience, only design from a user experience. So how do we gather the aspects of this user experience? Coca-Cola, di ba? When they are changing their logo. Okay? Changing the logo. Ano pa? Changing the set up, okay? Changing the set up of the computers. So why was the iPad user experience such a success? Quality user experience from the start. Okay, so you see the changes of the iPad. It is simple, elegant, distinct brand, pleasurable, masab fashion item, catchy name school, etc. So in short, when we are talking about this iPad, what do you see? So the quality user experience from the site from the start, will be very important. Kaya nga tinatangkilik pa rin si iPhone, iPad, or we call it Apple products because of the quality. So what is involved in the process of interaction design? So it involves what? Establishing the requirements. Ano yung kailangan? Developing alternatives. What else? Prototyping. Then, evaluating. So what are the core characteristics of interaction design? Young users should be involved through the development of the product. It's very important. The specific usability and user experience goals need to be identified, clearly documented, and agreed at the beginning of the project. So, yan ang ginagawa during the interaction design. There should be an interactive interactions between the projects. Kung ano yung mga dapat nating 
isama at kailanganin ng isang specific products. So iteration is needed throughout the core of activity yung mga paulit-ulit. Kasi we need to verify and check it if it will be very useful or not. So why go to this lab? So unang-una, helping the designers will be very important. So bakit? Una, to understand how to design interactive products that fit with that people want. Need and the desire. Then we need to appreciate the one size does not fit at all. Parang ngayon, no? teenager are very different to grown-ups. Ito naman yun, di ba? They are very different to grown-ups. Not all old people want or need big fonts. Okay, so identify nyo yung particular user group. Hindi lahat gusto malaki ang fonts, colors, etc., etc. Be aware of both people's sensitivities and their capabilities. And emotions also. Are cultural differences important? Yes. 5 out of 21, 2015 versus 21 out of 5, 2015. It differs. So which should be used for international service and online forms? Okay. So why is it the certain products like the e are universally accepted? by people from all parts of the world whereas websites are reacted to differently by people from the different cultures. For example, yung ethnic group, pinagamit nyo ng ipad or mga cell phones. Siyempre, yung mga yan, ang ating mga ethnic people they don't know how to use that because unang una they they are not yet familiar with those upgrades of technologies. Some of the other province, other province uh, users also, in case kung sa kani, may irapan sila gumamit niya. Kaya nga when they are going to Manila. They've seen the automations na mamangha sila. Because sometimes cultures, accessibility. When we're talking about the accessibility, there should be a degree to which a product is usable and accessible by as many people. Sino ang mga dapat makagamit. Focus on the disability, have a mental or physical impairment, mga PWDs. This has an adverse effect on their everyday lives. It is long term na. Ano ba yung mga sample na dapat ma-access? In terms of mga person with disabilities, Oh, yung iba sa kanila is majority are using what we call the voice recognition. Okay? Meron din naman yung mga tinatawag natin for for this, ano no, motion sensors. So it would really help the people with disability or what impairment na meron sila. So that is disability. So meron tayong mga to, no? yung mga IKEA bot. So Ana, IKEA Online Sales Agent, okay? Google Assistant, Siri. So ito, designed to be different for UK and US. Yung salita, yung accent. So what are the difference in which is which? What should Ana's appearance be like in the countries like India, South Africa, or China? So ito mga online sales agent na to, Sometimes they are do differ in terms of the personality of the specific, very specific countries. So that what is talking about the usability goals. So effective to use, efficient to use. If it's been effective to use, nagagamit ng ayos. Efficient to use, nagagamit ng tama. Safe to use, if it's been, magsinabing safe is ligtas. 
have a good utility, may maintenance, madaling matutunan at madaling matandaan paano gamitin. So that is the usability goals of a certain design. So in user experience goals, what are the desirable aspects? To, satisfying, enjoyable, engaging, pleasurable, exciting, entertaining, helpful, motivating, challenging, enhancing sociability, supporting creativity, cognitively stimulating, fun, provocative, surprising, rewarding, emotionally fulfilling. What are the undesirable aspects? Boring, frustrating, making one feel guilty, annoying, childish, unpleasant, patronizing, making one feel stupid and criticizing and dignity. Undesirable aspect is for you to avoid. Kasi hindi gagamitin niya. So in usability and user experience goals, selecting terms to convey a person feeling, emotions, etc. can help designers understand the multifaceted nature of the user experience. Ano ang deeper from the user experience goals? It's very important. There are two goals. Both fun and safe to use. Yan ang laging isipin. How easy is to measure usability versus user experience goals? So we proceed with the principle design. In principle design, it should be general, generalized. Yung abstractions for thinking about different aspects of design. Kailangan implement ang do's and don'ts. What to provide and what not to provide at the interface. Derived from a mix of theory, based knowledge experience, and common sense. Kailangan iniisip din natin yung tao ay may common sense. Bakit po? Kasi pag may common sense ang tao, mas madaling matututunan. Lahat ba ng tao may common sense? Yes! They have what we call yung tinatawag nating instinct. So in a visibility, this is a control panel for an elevator. How does it work? Push a button of the floor that you want. So familiar naman kayo siguro sa elevator that indicating the numbers. Dati kasi walang numbers, no? Yung parang mga button na bilog lang. Okay, so ngayon nilagyan ng numbers indicating the floor levels. So visible, nakikita sa mata. How would you make this action more visible? So make the card reader more obvious, auditory message that say what to do. O ngayon, medyo social ng elevator, di ba? Kasi yung iba is what? Voice recognition. May sensors na. So what do I do if I am wearing black? Invisible automatic controls can make it more difficult to use. Okay, so sometimes color would be a very big deal. Especially in detecting some objects. Lalo na sa panahon ngayon. Kasi may mga binabas yan. Pero majority of the cameras right now and the scanners can detect it na eh. It really upgraded na kumpara doon sa mga nakaraan na panahon. So the feedback would be sending information back to the user about what has to be done and include sound highlighting animations and combination. So when screen button click on provide sound or red highlight feedback. So the click plus pag na-click mo na is magkakaroon ng red border meaning you already click it. So the ambient the combinations of the animations and highlighting would be really helpful and even the sounds. <laughs> and constraints, we are restricting the possible actions that can be performed to help prevent user from selecting incorrect options. Physical objects can be designed to constrain things. So only one way you can insert a key into a lock. 
For example, that is a specific things that may be considered. Logical or ambiguous design. Ito. So where do you plug the mouse? Where do you plug the keyboard? Top or bottom connectors? Do the color-coded icons help? Dati ganyan ang itsura, pero ngayon, kung titignan nyo ang inyong likod ng inyong system unit o yung CPU, ano na? USB. Universal Serial Bus Ports. Ang mouse and keyboard. Wala na mga PS2 ports. So automatically, you will be connecting it to the ports. You will be seeing the pins. Yung iba walang indicators. <coughs> so how to design them more logically? Ito. Provide direct adjacent mapping between the icon and the connector. Yung isa naman, provide color coding to associate the connector with the labels. Ayan. So you would be designing them more logically. So in short, yung kulay green will stand for the legend, a mouse, and the uh, red one or the pink one is for the keyboard. So, designing it logically. Pero actually, ito naman, alam mo na, na dito kinoconnect. Tapos itong isa, dito. Depends on the color. Then we have the consistency. So, the consistency is the design interfaces to have similar operation and use similar elements for familiar tasks. For example, yung paggamit na ng ating mga command operation like control c control s and control o so those are the consistency of the interfaces some of them are easily be adapted and can be generated to understand by some users so it main benefits for its consistency interface are easier to learn and use so when consistency breaks down what happens if there is more than one command starting with the same letter. So yung same spelling selects style. So you have to find others initial of combination of keys. Thereby, breaking the consistency rule. Increasing learnings burdens on users, making them more prone to error. Internal and external consistency, we have what we call difficult to achieve with complex interfaces. So that would be internal consistency. Same with the application and operations. External naman, very rare the case based on the different designers' preferences. So yan yung mga tanging conflicts na makikita nyo lang in terms of the design. Key part number is layout. A case of external inconsistency. Di ba? consistency ng calculator at computer keypads versus the phone, remote controls, and ATM machines. But what you're doing right now is to adopt those types of consistency. So affordance, to give a clue, refer to the attribute of an object that allows people to know how to use it. Mouse button invites pushing other handles Upwards pulling. So normal 1988 naman, use the term to discuss the design of everyday objects. Particularly, majority of them is yung common sense, instinct of a person on how to operate those types of objects. So since has been much popularized in interaction design to discuss how to design interfaces objects. Diyan na pumasok yung mga scroll bars, moving up and down, icons, desktop icons, to avoid clicking on. Para mapadali ang buhay, mapadali, or let's say, ang interactions with the computers to make it user-friendly. So what does the affordance have to offer interaction design? Interfaces are virtual and do not have affordances like physical objects. So in Norman 
argues it does not make sense to talk about interfaces in terms of real affordances. So instead of interfaces are better conceptualized for civil affordances. So there should be learned convention of arbitrary mappings between actions and effects in the interface. Some mappings are better than others. Example, this type of activity affordances. How do the following screen object afford? And what if you were novice users? How would you know what to do with them? Itong scroll bar. And then we have the elevator buttons. Followed by these types of icons. So it would be virtual affordances. Because you already have the experience of it. You know what are those. So the key points would be interaction design is concerned with designing. Interactive products to support the way people communicate and interact in their everyday and working lives. It is concerned with how to create quality user experiences para mapa kinabangan, easy to use, safe, in short, usable to the users. It requires taking into account a number of interdependent factors, including the context of use, type of activities, cultural differences, and user groups. It is multidisciplinary that involves many inputs from wide-reaching disciplines and fields. So in short, the interaction design would be very helpful for us especially the past, this present, and for the future. So in short, the key points to remember, we are always concerned with creating of design because it would use, it would be used, okay, used by what? Different people or the users, it will be used by different types of people in terms of age, culture, ethnics, or even their perspective. Kaya nga dapat may pinagbabasehan sa mga design na binibigay sa mga yan. Dahil may mga magre-reklamo, dapat yung emotions ay nagiging kasama. So that's why interaction design is very important. 